This video will show you how to install Rocksim and to register it so that you can run it indefinitely. Uh, first we're going to click on the Windows download link and we're going to um, save the file and on this screen right here it's asking us where we're going to save this file um, and what I want to do is I want to put it on my desktop so I'm looking for the desktop so I'm just click on the desktop button and it's just going to save there and it's going to give it this file name and I'll just click on save and it will now start the download okay now the download is complete and uh, the, the uh, screen here says I can run this program so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to say are you sure you want to run this and you're going to say yes it's a safe program and it will say do you want to install and you say yes and so we'll click on the next button um, go ahead and read the uh, license agreement and then click on I accept the agreement click next and it's going to ask you where you're going to store it and by default it puts it into the program files folder on your on your hard drive and then we'll click the next it's going to ask you what you want to have the shortcut named and we'll say Roxim 9 and I will create the desktop icon so that it's easier to find click on next and it tells you uh, where it's going to install and then we're going to just go ahead and do the install and this will only take a couple of seconds on the Windows computers. All right, and now it's finished. And you can see over here it put two new desktop icons on the desktop. I'm going to close out this browser right here because I don't need that anymore. Uh, first is the Roxim 9 program folder and then the engine edit. Uh, the engine edit is to create rocket motor files in case you want to create your own. Uh, not everybody uses it. Uh, you can just leave it there. Um, this program you can now throw into the recycle bin. And we'll go ahead and launch the Roxim 9 software. And the first screen you're going to get is this uh, trial and when you first install Roxim it will run as a trial version uh, don't um, let this worry you because this is normal um, so let's go ahead and click on the register button if you click on the try button it's just gonna launch Roxim um, and it will tell you how many days you have left in the trial version so go ahead and click register and it's gonna ask you for some information um, to register the software I'm just going to use my information right here. And for the company, if you're just running it on your home computer, you, you do need something here. You can just put a dash or you can put in home and then your address. Just uh, use orders at apogeerockets.com. You're going to enter your, your information here. We don't use this information for anything on our end, but it does allow us to uh, verify that uh, you are the owner of the software. And then click on Next. And what happens now is you're going to get this screen and it's going to ask you to save the license request. This is a two-step process. Um, what we do, you're going to save this license request and it's going to ask you where you're going to save it. It's going to bring up this window here and I would recommend that you put it on the desktop like we did before and then save it. It's going to call it Roxim 9 and it's going to give it the extension dot ILR and the ILR stands for interlock license request and this is the anti-piracy software that we use. Now you're going to email us this file um, and what we do is we run it through a key generator that allows us to unlock it for you so I'm going to go ahead and open up a mail program and I'm just using uh, Yahoo Mail right now um, whatever mail program you use will be fairly similar so I'm going to create a new 
um, email here and this needs to be sent to us and this is where you do need our email this is orders at apogeerockets.com and what you'll say is uh, Roxim license request and then you're going to attach this license file to this email so in here in Yahoo we'll just click on attach and we'll go to the desktop um, and find that file here's the file click open and it added it to the email and then we'll just click send and now it's sending the message to us and at this point uh, we will take the license file and send it back to you so I'm gonna pause here and uh, send the email back to you so you can see what happens next. When you get the email back, it's going to look something like this. You're going to find an attachment. Wherever you see this paper clip, that means there's something attached. You can go ahead and click on it, and it's going to bring up a virus scan, and then it's going to ask you to download the attachment. So go ahead and click on that. And this you're going to want to save. So click on Save. And again, we're going to put it onto the desktop and click on save and we can close that and now we can close out our web browser and now you see the file sitting here on your desktop so what we want to do is uh, you don't click on this okay so your your license file window is still open here and we want to click on read license so go ahead and do that and navigate to your desktop and you'll find the roxim9.ilf and that's the file you want so click on that and click open and immediately it will tell you that you are authorized with a valid license file and when you click finish it will go ahead and start up roxim and at this point roxim is now running and you can go ahead and start designing rockets. Um, for additional help, I recommend you go to the Apogee wa website and go to the products menu, go to rocket software, to Roxim, and then video tutorials and click on that. And this is where you'll start learning how to use the software. Just go ahead and watch all these videos and it will walk you through the design and the simulation of your first rockets. And if you have any questions, please give us a call.